Hey there, me again. We've got an important uh, video here to create for you today, and this is uh, to help Laura, who has posted this on Yammer. Uh, I'd love some suggestions to stop my impending migraine. Someone in Microsoft Teams has created a calendar event, and the invite seems to appear in 3,650 member inboxes. I usually just delete it. However, somebody's got jack of it and replied to all, saying they want to be removed off the list, and that obviously starts a cascade of uh, emails from all sorts of people saying exactly the same thing and everyone's inbox gets flooded with all these unwanted emails. Um, so some people have said, oh yeah, um, I just left both teams. I left the team and my well-being instantly improved. You don't have to leave the team in order to avoid these problems when uh, annoying emails keep coming in because people keep clicking reply to all and uh, all includes thousands of people. So uh, what can you actually do? Well, let's jump into my email. And I've got a similar situation here where people are declining a particular um, Teams meeting, which is lunchtime at the digital drive through um, It happens every Wednesday at uh, 1 o'clock. Definitely worth joining us on that. But um, if you're getting emails that you just don't want, uh, you can set a rule really easily to remove them. So here, if I uh, look at this one, uh, there's a subject here, declined lunchtime at the digital drive-thru. So what is a good thing to do is to grab that subject line, control C to copy it to the clipboard. And then you click these little three dots up the top here and you choose this option that says create rule. Now, what does this do? Okay, what do you want to do? You can choose this option that says always move messages from Kylie to this folder. And I can say, just move it to uh, the deleted items uh, or trash or wherever it is move to a different folder uh, and I can go and find the trash I have so many folders I'm terribly sorry um, archive deleted items is where I would want it to go okay but I don't want to move messages from Kylie because it's not really Kylie's fault she just accidentally hit a button that says reply to all uh, and it's uh, it's come to a lot of people's email boxes. So I don't want to delete messages from her because that will delete every message that comes from her. So what I want to do is click this option that says more options. Now in here, what we want to do is uh, delete uh, reply to all emails. Or you can call it um, delete and then we can just paste this particular subject line. So anything with that subject line is going to get deleted. This is the name of the rule. Okay, This is uh, what you're calling this rule because you can have multiple rules and you can look them all up. Uh, what we want to do is add a condition. Now instead of saying from Kylie, what we want to do is say the subject includes and then you paste that. So it's going to, if the subject includes declined lunchtime at the da da da, then what do we want to do? Okay, we want to move it to deleted items. So I selected this deleted items on the previous screen, but if you hadn't selected that and just went to uh, more options, you would have to come in here and you would have to select the folder. Uh, so unfortunately, I've got to do that again. Uh, somewhere in here was deleted items. There, no, sent, junk, deleted items. Thank you. And um, you can add other actions and do other things. This is a good tick to uh, do because if there are multiple rules that apply to the email that's going to have this rule, it will apply them as well. So it's a good idea to, to say stop processing any other rules. Uh, and you can also say run the rule now. And when you save that, what should happen is not only should that email go away, and these are some of the other rules that I have, not only should that email have gone, but if I go back to my inbox, it's deleted the other ones automatically. So they're now gone from my inbox. So uh, that's as easy as it is. If you uh, open the first one, select the subject line, copy the subject line to the clipboard, create a rule for that subject, and tell it to go to the deleted items, and you'll never see those emails again. Hope that helped, and hope that raises your sanity for the future and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.